Hello, all you glorious people of the world. Chelsea Chi here, back with Spyro the Dragon 2. Ripto's Rage. And the last one, we started it off. Spyro wanted to go on vacation, but uh, we have been forced into doing work. So, without further ado, let's go to one of the homeworlds. Or Summer Forest is what we are entering. Can I still- I can still do some flapping and some flying and some firing. Same as in the first game. Ugh. We're gonna have horribly yucky numbers in this game, and I apologize for that. No. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Um, uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Hmm. Interesting. So does that mean we're only gonna go to 14 worlds? If that's the case, this game feels very short. Ooh. <laughs> So that looks like that's the extra life portion. I think you can swim in this game. Not a hundred percent. We have our sheepy friends again. I'm not missing any in any corners, any crevices. I'm not going in the water just in case. Spyro, this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Okay. Sounds easy enough. This place is really pretty. So far, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the music. Oh, I can go down that way. Um, I mean, it's been very pretty. I just- I liked how exciting the music was in Spyro 1. Like, it was pretty but exciting, you know? But, we're only at the first place, so... Maybe it'll get better. Okay, portal our way back up. Oh. You weren't here before. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. <laughs> I 
would have already known how to do that from the first area we went to. Or was I not supposed to glide at all? Interesting. So we're still in tutorial phase. We don't have any dragons to teach us tutorials, so looks like we're gonna have to rely on our newfound friends. Done! Is he not over here anymore? Interesting. Hunter can shapeshift! Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. So it looks like we can obviously go in the water. Well, I don't know. Money bags is right there. We'll go to money bags in a second. And make sure I don't go into this world. Idle Springs. Sparks, really? Okay, so these are our head buddy ones that we can only do. Interesting. Sorry if I'm kind of like spazzy all over the place. I don't know where gems are typically going to be since I've never played this. Hi Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Agile. I always say agile. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. You literally just told me how to glide. Why are you doing it again? Meanwhile, Hunter can like, just nice jump across. Job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. The action button. So they added that from the first game. So the little triangle at the end didn't give you it didn't it didn't let you do a little like jumpy motion, it just stopped you. Now it like gives you a little extra oomphy. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Why does Hunter have an orb? <laughs> that seems weird if I'm supposed to collect them. And he has one. Well, you might as well. Indeed, I might as well. Whoop! I mean, I like the music here. It fits the scene. It's just, it's not very memorable. But it's nice, like, background music, like, if you want it to just, like, relax. This is nice, like, ASMR music. Okay, are these frogs, like, health? They are. Is th There's just, like, so many of them. Hello again, money bags. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Learning to swim costs 500 gems, which I do not have. So apparently we can go underwater. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go into a level. Before- so- hold on. Do these sheep give you health too? It why do we have two different things? Let me go back up, because I don't think I fully explored up here while I was doing the hunter training. Was there somewhere else I could go?
Can I go over here somewhere? No. 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 Ooh, but there's something over there, I see. I don't think I'm able to make that, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. But, it looks like swimming is okay. Spyro learned how to swim! I can fire on top. Interesting. Okay. I should probably get out of the water. Okay, so, uh, I guess let's go into Idle Springs then. There's not really much else we can do, so I guess this is where we are supposed to go. Four, two, three, four hundred twenty-three gem boys. There's lots more cutscenes in this game than I was expecting there to be, I must say. Uh, I guess let's talk to you first. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! How do you know my name? That's my question. I'm literally a dragon that you have never seen before. Somehow you know my name. So there's stuff under there that I can't get because I can't, uh, can't go underwater. Did I miss gems then? Was I supposed to be able to know how to go underwater? Ow! How dare you. But all right. Ow! What even just happened there? <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk to me, baby idols. Big up, uh, big boy idols. making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Thank you for letting me know, even though I already figured that out. Uh, Miss Ma'am. I don't like how it stops me. Like, I can't, like, keep running when attacking them. That's really weird. Ow. 
Take that, big boy. Right, use the right stick. Thank you. I feel like I've already missed so much of the game, and I literally have just started. I don't know. I did they get rid of the blue gems? I'm gonna be unhappy if so. Because purple is no longer 25. anything else that matches that though. Also apparently can't jump up things, but that's the norm. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Is it... Oh, thought it was going to be the little hammer. Well, there's the way back. What else can I do, though? I know where I'm at now. I see, I see. And we're gonna run. I am liking the controls more in this game than in the first Spyro game. It seems like they tuned them up somewhat, so that's nice. I haven't been having nearly as much control problem. To the corner? No. I didn't need to do that, but better safe than sorry is a nice phrase. seen anything with those symbols on them. Ooh, there's a whole area. And there's a whole area. Wow. Wow. The camera seems a lot nicer too, I must admit. go back and do this. Well, down here now. So the correct answer was yes, we're gonna come back here and do this. Hmm. 
I cannot hurt him. So it looks like I need to do this electric thing in order to hurt him. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, this is fast! Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! Holy jeez. Did I already? Okay. Holy jeez. This is gonna be kind of difficult. Oh, man. Yeah. A little bit. Keep going. Yes! girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now <laughs> I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. I guess I was supposed to talk to her first? I didn't see her anywhere, though. But, okay. Thanks. That was kind of weird. A little bit weird, I gotta say. Anyways... Let's finish going across the tops. And then, man. These videos are kind of long, aren't they? So I blew up that safe. Question is, can I get to it from here? I can. Okay, well, that looks like all I can pretty much do here. Can't really do much else. So, I guess... That shall be the end of this video. Man, it's all the cutscenes. There's so many cutscenes, and that really eats into the time. So hopefully you guys are okay right now with just doing one level video? Anyways. Uh, as always, though, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you guys in the next video bye